Good day everyone, this is Commander Dramdar speaking. So you've taken the red pill and decided to venture down the rabbit hole that is Elite Dangerous. First off, I'd like to say congratulations to the purchase, commiserations to your social life. Open Elite Dangerous and configure your controls by going to Options and then Controls. You will need to go through this and configure it to your specific control methods. It is highly advised that you use a joystick and keyboard as your primary flight control method. These can range in price from £30 for your basic joystick with limited functionality all the way to HOTAS fully featured flight controls. I was able to pick up a second hand Logitech Extreme 3D Pro for £15 which has served me well in my 140 plus hours of Elite so far, so a fully featured stick is by no means a necessity. Upon configuring the controls, you're going to want to do the basic training missions. These missions are Combat Training Target Practice Combat Training Basic Combat Docking Training Launch Docking Training Docking and Travel Training Travel These missions will give you a basic idea as to the controls and core mechanics to Elite Dangerous and will provide a good foundation to your understanding of the game. Now that your controls are configured and you know how to fly, it's time to jump in. Hit start and head into open play from the main menu. You'll be prompted to create a commander name and then you are ready to fly. You will start off at Trevithic Dock in the system LHS 3447. In your comms panel, you can press 2 to see it you'll receive a starting message which you can view by tapping over with E and selecting the message. You'll be given your first mission to travel to the Aravati system to deliver some data which will earn you 10,000 credits. This mission will already be selected so all you have to do is leave the station, travel to Aravati and complete the mission. Once you're docked, go to the mission board and hand the mission in. No more hand-holding, you're now free to do whatever you want within the Elite Dangerous Universe. To boil it down, you can pursue three general activities, but these activities come in a variety of flavours. Trading, Exploration, and Combat. You will likely start off with trading as this is the quickest way to earn money, which will allow you to pursue combat and exploration, or increase your trade rank, for more lucrative and dangerous missions. Trading missions benefit from lightweight ships, which will allow for a good jump range. Head to outfitting, select hard points, and sell the two equipped pulse lasers. You won't need them, and they add weight. Your starting ship is Falcon de Lacy's Sidewinder Mark I, a basic ship that every commander starts their career in. It is agile, but lacks the flexibility that more expensive ships offer you. As a rule of thumb, Upgrade your core internals to grade D components the moment you can afford to, as these components are the lightest, are cheap upgrades and offer a reasonable performance boost. Alternatively, keep earning money and avoid upgrading your current ship, instead working toward changing to your next ships. Some good ships to consider upgrading to would be the Adder and then the Cobra Mark III, the latter of which is an excellent all-rounder and should serve you well for 40 plus hours, and is still the choice of some very high-ranked commanders. Ship progression and basic outfitting will both be explained in more detail in future videos. To be effective in trading, you want to make as few hyperspace jumps as you can for the most money possible. A good way to do this is to find multiple data and cargo missions going to the same location. Don't worry if there aren't any missions going to the same place, just find the most valuable mission after that. Specifically during cargo missions, NPC ships can often be sent after you to retrieve your cargo either willingly or by force. For an NPC to do this, you must be in normal space, so they must pull you out of supercruise. This is done with a module called a frameshift drive interdictor. It is vital to know how to deal with these scenarios or your ship will be destroyed, resulting in mission fines, loss of cargo, loss of any unclaimed vouchers and the rebuy costs of your ship. There are two ways to deal with an interdiction. You can either align with the escape vector and attempt to escape the interdiction or submit and drop into normal space. The former method has the advantage of avoiding dropping into normal space at all as well as shaking off your attacker so you won't suffer any potential ship damage. However, if you try to escape the interdiction and fail, your ship will undergo an emergency drop. 
This will damage the ship and trigger a long FSD safety cooldown time of 45 seconds, which is long enough for your assailant to deal significant damage to your ship, if not to kill you. Submitting to the interdiction means you drop into normal space and are vulnerable to an attack, but the FSD safety cooldown time is now the usual 5 seconds, meaning you can jump back into supercruise much quicker. Due to the limitations of the Sidewinder, you'll find yourself very limited in what you can do to efficiently make money. The best thing you can do is to continue to carry out missions until you can afford a better feature to ship. Fit the Sidewinder out to carry as much cargo as you can whilst keeping shields and you should make a profit fairly quickly. One thing to note is that most mission values will rise with your trade rank, and trade rank will rise with the amount of trading missions you complete, or commodities you sell for a profit, so rare commodity trading is an ideal way to raise your trade rank. Rare commodity trading is possibly the best way to make money as a new pilot. These rare commodities are unique items produced in any number of systems, a list of which can be found on the wiki, linked in the description, such as Lavian Brandy in the system lab. They are not valuable in the local system due to their abundance, however, they rapidly rise in value the further away from the home system the item is, up to about 120 light years away. Lavian brandy that would be bought for 500 credits in lab could be sold for upwards of 10,000 credits in a system 100 light years away. This method of trading is more effective with large cargo bays. This type of trading is only efficient with cargo bays of 20 plus tons, so buying yourself a hauler would be an excellent choice. Alternatively, you could buy an adder for increased protection with the same amount of cargo space. Whilst being more expensive, the Cobra Mark III has more flexibility and can do so much more than trading. Thank you for watching our introduction to Elite Dangerous and Basic Guides to Trading. We hope you enjoyed the video. Commander Jaramdar, signing off.